Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are going back underwater. Here's the deal. It is almost sight fishing season in a lot of the country. Now some of you guys, you're snowed in, you're iced in, and I'm sorry. Some of you guys, you've been bed fishing for two months already, but there are a lot of us there in the middle. Guys that are just starting to sight fish, guys that are in the pre-spawn, guys where the pre-spawn's getting ready to come on. So it's time to talk about bed fishing, about fishing the spawn. Gonna give you some quick tips today. Something a little bit different than we've ever talked about before. Now, I know that the spawn is kind of a controversial topic. Some people love it, some people hate fishing during the spawn. Some guys get offended if a guy 2,000 miles away catches a bed fish. No matter how you feel about it, that's fine. But you also need to understand that there are guys that don't feel the same. They are going bed fishing, it is happening, and they need tips. So today we are talking bed fishing. Again, let's head underwater, and here's the deal. Today we're gonna talk about adapting and changing your baits and your presentations to get fish to commit. What I want you guys to notice throughout this video is that as we change fish, or I'm sorry, as we change baits, because we're only looking at a handful of fish here, as we change baits, you're going to see the specific fish's behavior change. We get requests all the time, like what is the best bed fishing bait? What's the number one bait that I should throw for a spawning bass? We get tons of that stuff. What's the best color to throw for a spawning bass? You know, most people throw white or chartreuse, bright, bold colors. You notice a lot of times we throw really dull, natural colors, but every single fish is completely different. So what I want you to notice here is that as we take a fish and start presenting baits to that fish on its bed, that as we change baits, the fish's behavior changes. Notice it's the same fish. Nothing has changed. We're throwing a jig on that bed. You're seeing short strikes. Pitch that jig, short strike. Pitch that jig, short strike. Then we switch over and we throw a Texas rig. And all of a sudden, woof, that fish inhales that bait takes it in completely. It's the same bass. So what's the deal? Why is it short striking a jig inhaling a creature bait? Now you see the reverse too. You see them absolutely inhaling a jig, just wolfing that thing down. And then you turn around, you pitch a creature bait in there and they just pick it up, carry it out, drop it. Pick it up, carry it out, drop it. So what's going on? Well, the reality is, Every single spawning fish is different. All of them. There isn't a right bait. There isn't. When Tim and I go out sight fishing, we put at least 10 different baits on the deck of the boat. And when we come up on a bed, we start at one end and we work our way through those different baits until we find the one that that fish is most aggressive on. Because one fish may want to eat a drop shot. The next fish may want to eat a jig. The next fish might get all fired up for a little swim bait and then turn around and suddenly be willing to eat the jig that it wouldn't eat before. It's amazing. Color, big factor. White, chartreuse, those are important colors. So is pink. So is natural. So is, you know, clear colors when those fish get sensitive and wary. Each different style has its place and it completely changes how a fish behaves. I mean, look at this. We throw this pink bait in there, it starts falling down to bottom, and that fish comes over and it's it totally into it, right? Picks it up, spits it out. But we turn around, that's on a shaky head. We turn around, exact same shaky head, exact same fish, very next cast. We put a man bear pig on there, creature bait. Throw that back into that bed several times. Fish won't even let it get to the bottom. This fish that was picking up tails is now inhaling the bait on the way down. Inhaling it over and over and over. And then you switch to another bait and they just pick it up by the tails. The fish's behavior, night and day different. So again, what I wanna drive home for you guys, 
Some of you are fishing the spawn this year and that's fine. Don't let anybody tell you different. Those of you that aren't fishing the spawn, that's fine too. But for the guys that are, don't get dialed in to one bait or one color. You wanna throw a white creature bait? That's fantastic. You wanna throw a black and blue jig? Fantastic. You wanna throw a hot pink worm? That'll work too. But they probably won't all work on the same fish. So don't be afraid to adapt. Don't be afraid to completely mix it up. If you've got a fish that's biting over and over and over and over, but it's not getting the hook, well, don't swing early. Set that bait down, pick up a different bait, flip it back in there, and see if that fish will just inhale that bait and you'll get a good, strong hook set. One of the biggest mistakes that I see guys make when they're bed fishing is they set too soon. Your gut reaction is to set the first time that you see that fish inhale that bait. And sometimes it works. It does work. You do hook those fish. But oftentimes it's a skin hook. It's up on the edges somewhere. You don't have them hooked well. And they come up and they spit it. But that fish, if you pitch a bait in there and it picks it up and reaches over and blows it off that bed and you don't swing on them, that's not a negative experience for that fish. If you pitch in there again, they're going to do the same thing. And what's going to happen is they're going to get more and more and more aggressive and then they're going to really suck that thing in and when you hit them you've got a good hook pinned in the roof of that mouth and you land that fish that you would have either scared or got them got barely hooked had them come up and jump off. Hope those tips help you. I'm sure we'll do a lot more sight fishing as we really get into the spawn. It's a little early for us out here. We're still getting a lot of weather. Today's a nice day, but we're slated for rain and snow the next week. So our spawn keeps getting held back. But we wanted to reach out and start talking about that spawn because for some of you, it's already late. For a lot of you, just like us, it's coming. We hope you enjoyed this trip underwater. We love getting this kind of footage for you guys. We know you enjoy watching it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon.